Well, let me uh, start with fixing, fixing uh, ground field, uh, which will be k. And uh, for the sake of simplicity, I assume that it's algebraically closed and uh, zero characteristic. Uh, but this is indeed for the sake of simplicity, because uh, you will see that uh, the basic uh, definitions and some facts immediately uh, extend to the more general setting of Arbor Day field. Uh, so the, the um, uh, source of my consideration um, was uh, actually in uh, the breakthrough, uh, completely recent uh, breakthrough by uh, Dolgachev and Kuskovsky, who classified uh, finite Cremona subgroups in uh, fi finite subgroups in uh, Cremona group of rank two. Uh, as uh, you know, it's uh, extensive lists. And strictly speaking, uh, the classification is not really completed because uh, the list, of course, cover all of the groups, but the problem of conjugation of them is not completely solved so far. Uh, and one could imagine what, what would happen if, uh, in place of rank two, one, one could consider rank three. It should be apparently a nightmare and, and so on. So the, the point is that. Uh, it's too many of these groups, and uh, all of them are uh, considered on an equal footing. And my point is that uh, actually, uh, in reality, uh, they are not on an equal footing. And some of them are, should be considered as, so to speak, more basic than the others. And the problem is to, to find these basic groups. Uh, let me explain what I mean. Uh, I mean, the, the, there is a standard procedure which, uh, which cooks a, a new action if you have some fixed action. So for me, a action will be always action of finite group by birational transformation of, of su some algebraic variety, birational, not by regular, and uh, all actions will be faithful without kernel. So this is the same as to say that I have, uh, if I have a variety then, uh, in, in a finite group, then uh, I consider a group of, of, of its birational transformations and embedding of this group in here. Uh, and this very embedding could be called action. Some, sometimes I will do this. And so I assume that I have such a situation, so finite group acting birationally on, on an algebraic variety, then um, I can um, uh, there is a standard procedure of uh, obtaining another action on another, on another variety in the following way. Uh, consider what is called rational quotient of, uh, of x mod g. Let me denote it in this way. So this is simply uh, any model of uh, field of uh, g-invariant rational functions on x, x. And this is rational mapping, dominant rational mapping, which is induced by embedding of uh, invariant fields um, in, in, in fields on, on X. And so we, um, uh, having this, we obtain this. Um, this. What? what? Um, if group is finite, yes? and variety is not necessarily projective, right? In your not necessarily. Uh, then you may assume that everything is regular. No, uh, cerebral. yeah, I may assume, but I do not. I, I, I just repeat what I, what I say. Uh, I have actually a birational transformation, not by regular transformation. I don't just in, insist on this. I take any model of, of, of field of invariant functions. Uh, this field is in, embedded in the field in here, which gives a dominant this is This is what's written here, nothing else. Uh, then I change base. I take dominant rational map of other variety to the base. And just change x, um, uh, complete this, this diagram uh, by putting at this angle the Cartesian square. Namely, putting here this thing. Then uh, you, you have. Uh, um, a Cartesian square of um, of, uh, of dominant maps, which all are G equivalent, assuming that a group X in here also, uh, by means of birational transformations, we are the second sector. So we have not just 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 
variety, but variety with, with action of G by Baryshnikov transformations. And uh, the remarkable thing is, uh, and, and moreover, uh, this variety, which goes Z, uh, is uh, equipped with a dominant G equivalent map uh, to, to my original X by, by just, just taking projection. So this is dominant and G equivalent. And the remarkable thing is that actually the converse is true. Namely, if you uh, consider uh, consider uh, any uh, variety uh, this rational action of uh, action of a finite group by rational transformations on X, and assume that uh, you have uh, not Z, but uh, T. Uh, n uh, that this is equivalent, equivalent, uh, rational, uh, G equivalent, rational, and dominant, dominant map, uh, which I call compression. So G X on here and uh, G X on T as well, and uh, G is G equivalent and dominant. And such a, such a, a, a map is called compression of action of X into the action on T. Then actually, if you construct the uh, the same thing, uh, then uh, actually this X uh, is obtained by means of that construction. It's the same. So considering <coughs> contractions is the same as con considering this, the, the, this thing. Uh, so uh, given this, uh, one could say that the, assume that, that we consider just problem which Volkachev and Deskovsky considered, finite subgroups uh, of uh, Cremona group of rank two. So they find a group acting on, on rational surfaces. Uh, some of them admit non-trivial uh, compression. Uh, it's called non such compression is called non-trivial if this map is not birational isomorphism. And some of them not. And those which uh, do not ad admit non-trivial compression, they are basic. And the others are obtained from them by means of, uh, by means of this construction. So the problem is, uh, given a list of uh, classification of, of a group of birational transformations, find which of them are non-compressible. Uh, the others will be obtained by, by means of this, this, this method. Is it possible that all of them are compressible? Sorry, you uh, I, I will dwell on this. Uh, uh, actually, in, in this setting, even for the uh, case of uh, Dolgachev and Zanskovsky, I don't know the answer. I don't know whether they are incompressible group or not. This open question, in my opinion, is principal question of, from this point of view. But I would like to, uh, something is known about this, and I would like to start with uh, the, the most uh, 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 doable case, uh, in which case the answer is interesting and non-trivial, namely the Cremona group of rank one. Let's start from it. So the setup is as I, as I described, and I would like to apply these uh, this, uh, speculations in the case of Cremona um, group of ranks one. Then I will tell you something about uh, general case and the case of Cremona um, uh, of rank two, but in this case the uh, uh, situation is mo much more fragmentary than in the case of rank one. So I would like to start with, uh, with rank one. So case. Uh, of a cream on a group of uh, rank one. So this is nothing but this DSL2, uh, which is automorphism group of P1. Uh, this is um, by regular automorphism. And this is cream on one. Uh, finally, subgroups here are well known. They are um, uh, cyclic groups, diagonal groups, uh, and uh, rotation groups of uh, regular uh, polyhedrals, namely a tetrahedral, tetrahedral, the group of rotation of tetrahedron, octahedron, and icosahedral.
uh, if two groups are conjugate, then I isomorphic as um, abstract groups and, and vice versa. In this case, uh, the converse is true. This abstract isomorphism is, implies conjugation. This is not true for K1 or Frank 2, but in, in this case, this is, a, this is true. Uh, so let me uh, then uh, reformulate the problem uh, about, about, uh, about uh, compressing. The reformulation will be, uh, in this case, possible just without knowing any, any uh, terminology of algebraic geometry. It just can be put absolutely down to us, namely in the following way. So uh, uh, field of, of uh, rational functions on this, in this curve is just uh, uh, purely, essential, uh, purely transcendental extension of k of, of degree 1, this variable t, which can be considered as a coordinate on a fine line. And uh, finite groups uh, are automorphism groups of this field. Uh, which is uh, whose elements are just fractional linear transformations. Where A, B, C, and D are elements of K. And uh, finding, uh, finding, so I assume that G is uh, one of these groups. Uh, and uh, I am asking about existence of uh, compression of action of this group on P1. It should be self-compression because of the re because of the reason which I just told you about since any any groups, two groups is hypothetic to GI, uh, they are conjugate. So this is, uh, if in place of this one can consider just A1, this will be just a rational function in, in one variable. Uh, and finding uh, compression is nothing but finding such fine uh, such rational functions in, in one variable uh, such that uh, they are solutions of the following system of uh, functional equations. You plug in, in place of T, uh, these uh, transformations. And uh, what you obtain should be to do this. For any a, b, uh, a, t plus b, c, t plus z, like in my group. So this finite system of uh, functional equations, and what you are doing is just trying to figure out whether it's possible to find such f or not. Of course, uh, it, it is possible. If you, if you take f is equal to t, then, uh, then you are done. But the question is, to find whether there are non-trivial f of such um, type. And non-trivial means the degree of f, which is maximal of degrees of uh, numerator and denominator in um, uh, uh, non cancelable presentation of this uh, function, uh, is bigger or equal than 2. This is the problem. And if you try to do this uh, just by hand, uh, you will see that it's, it's, it's rather tricky. Uh, uh, and answering my question uh, would be automatically answering this question. Uh, so let me now formulate, uh, in this case, it is possible to, to, to find the answer. And uh, let me formulate the main result. This is the following theorem, main result about this theory. Uh, for Cremona of rank 1. Uh, so consider um, covering of my group, which is PSL2 uh, by SL2. Uh, this is um, epimorphism with uh, kernel whose order is um, generated by element of order 2 by minus 1. Uh, so I have here a subgroup about which I ask uh, about existence of com compressions. And uh, I consider this pre-image here. Uh, this is so-called uh, binary uh, polyhedral group. 
uh, or simply group of even order or binary diagonal group. Uh, call it a G tilde. Uh, this group acts on a fine plane, just linearly, in a natural way. Uh, and um, I will consider projection of uh, a punctured uh, plane, which is a plane minus zero, uh, to my mm, projective line. Uh, so this is natural projection. And uh, this projection is equivalent uh, if you assume that uh, my, my group, group uh, G, uh, D tilde acts on P1, but in this case not faith, faithfully with, with kernel of order 2. Uh, and assume that, uh, that phi, which is actually a pair of uh, two polynomials, phi uh, tilde, Uh, uh, be a homogeneous polynomial uh, uh, self-compression of G tilde. So this phi tilde is a um, polynomial map such that both, uh, phi, uh, both, both its components are polynomials of the same degree. This means it's homogeneous in polynomial. And uh, so compression means that it, it, it is equivariant. Uh, then uh, one, one obtains the following square. This zero deleted. And this is my uh, uh, such that uh, uh, actually uh, action of here uh, is action of not gt but action of my g uh, and therefore this is a compression uh, I will call this compression um, descent of, of compression phi tilde this is descent of phi tilde and the main theorem is the following. So this is a way to, 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 to construct um, uh, compressions of, of P1 uh, by means of considering special, namely homogeneous polynomial uh, compressions of, uh, of standard linear action. Uh, I uh, would like to stress that uh, it may happen that this uh, map, uh, polynomial map, is of some big degree, but the descent is trivial in the sense that it's birational isomorphism. So there's a delicate point here. And so the main result is the following. So theorem. So let G be uh, a non-trivial uh, finite subgroup of uh, Cremona 1, which is PSL2, associate uh, with it uh, the following uh, formal uh, power series. Uh, I'll call it in this way. In variable t, which is this is power series with uh, integral coefficients. Uh, of the form. And there are three cases uh, depending on what this g is. Uh, SG is um, of this type, so rotation group of uh, tetrahedron, octahedron, or icosahedron, uh, let me call it type 1. Uh, then uh, this series is the following. Uh, two sorry, t to the 2a minus 1 times 1 plus t 4a minus 6 
times T to an A. I will tell you about A just in a, in a second. T to the 4 A minus 4 N and plus the last one T 4 A minus 5 times T 4 A minus 4 N uh, and uh, in uh, the other case, actually there are two cases here, but I'll both denote, denote by case 2. Uh, if G is of type 2, so is it dihedral or, uh, or cyclic, uh, then uh, the Serious, uh, sorry, I didn't tell you about this A, where A is 3, 4, or 6, respectively, respectively for uh, the case of tetrahedron uh, cube, which is octahedron or icosahedron. Uh, and um, in this case, uh, this series is the following. It's, it's simpler, just one sum. Uh, uh, 2 L n minus 1 minus 1, where L order of uh, G is L. Uh, if G is cyclic and uh, 2L if G is diagonal. So associate such, such concrete series uh, with, uh, with this group depending on its type. And uh, the conclusion is the following. Suppose, so I, I look at this series and look at its coefficients. Both of them, as you see, are either zeros or, or positive integers. And consider the second case. So suppose the, the coefficients, coefficient is really positive, not zero, uh, in, in this series. Then there is uh, homogeneous polynomial, uh, uh, polynomial homogeneous, a homogeneous of degree just this D, a self-contraction uh, of uh, the action of uh, binary, binary group on a fine plane. Uh, such that it's this descent is non-trivial, meaning not birational isomorphism, uh, self-compression of uh, of my group. So as you see, um, uh, the, the, the corollary is that uh, every uh, finite group of variational transformations of projective line is self-compressible, non-trivially. And there are infinitely many such self-compressions, uh, as many as uh, coefficients in this series, which are strictly positive. There are quite a lot of them. Uh, Uh, so, uh, let me just formulate it once again. So, we have corollary two statements which follow from here. First, that in Cremona 1, every finite subgroup is non trivially self compressible. Uh, and second, uh, every 
self-compression in this case uh, is uh, compression to the group which is conjugate to, to the original one. Uh, one can ask just, I, I will comment about this, uh, but just going ahead, immediately uh, one can ask the same questions whether the, this is true in Primono of rank 2. Whether is, is it true that every uh, finite subgroup in Grimon of rank 2 is self-compressible? And uh, whether it's true that uh, every uh, compression, non-trivial compression in this case, is compression to the conjugate group? I do not know the answer to the first question in the case of Grimon of rank 2. And this is, in my opinion, quite uh, challenging, uh, but it is definitely not true that the, the second statement is holds uh, for Krimon of rank 2. It, it's not true that every self-compression of a finite group, in the case of Krimona of rank 2, is compression to the conjugate group. Uh, the, the, there are, the picture there is, is, is more, 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 more rich than in, in the case of Krimon of rank 1. So, so if, you take, if you take a self-compression and you compose it yourself, do you also get a self-compression? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And do you know, I mean, the ones you constructed, do you know the not this formula? No, I did, did, didn't consider this. Uh, uh, the point is that the way of obtaining infinitely many self-compression is just the one which I, I tell you. But the, 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 those which are obtained here, they are not obtained in this way, as, as you will see from, from, from this d, in which case uh, s the coefficient is not zero. They are not, uh, if, you, if you compose, then, then the degrees, uh, you add degrees. But, but this is not the case in this case. Situation. They, they are really uh, not obtained in this uh, cheap way. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. So, is there a way to formulate this thing? I mean, because I, I was wondering whether this SD plays any role, but I mean, you're just saying that the coefficients are bigger than, than they're positive. So, isn't there an easier way, for example, I mean, one is one easy to see that the last coefficients, the, the, the last uh, series, which is, it's, it's something uh, like. No, the point is, the point is uh, where it's written. No, uh, isn't here. Yeah, I understand this. But I was just wondering, I mean, you formulate this in, in a sense of, in, a, in, a, in terms of a series. Isn't there an easy way to say, for example, if D is of the form, I don't know. Oh, which form? form? form, just, form but, but this will be just reformulation of this. This is a compact yeah, reformula This is the same. Is the this is the, 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 the way to, 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 to say what you would like to say just in, in a compressed way. Just, just these d's are, are coefficients of, of yeah, this series. I don't know. I, I don't see this way. Generated function for something which has geometric Yes, they are. So what's they are. They, they are um, um, obtained. They are obtained from uh, Poincaré polynomials of uh, of some. So if you consider representation of, 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 uh, of binary group of this one in, in polynomial ring on, on plane, then uh, you're, uh, it's, it's graded. And uh, you should consider some special characters of the, of the group and the occurrence of these characters in, in graded components. And this creates some, some, some Poincare series, and this is related to them. But the characters have been one dimensional representation. Right? No, 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 no. It's more, more delicate. It's more delicate. It's not, it's not, not, not one dimensional representation. It's not like uh, if you have a semi invariant of some degree, then. No, 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 no. It, it's more, more delicate. And, and, uh, the, uh, and the point is, you should ensure that this is non trivial. If degree is, not, is, uh, is big, this doesn't mean, in general, that this, the corresponding descent is non trivial. This is the point. No, it's, uh, there are, well, I, I cannot be more specific because of the time reason, but uh, there are some specific <coughs> one-dimensional characters which play, which play a role in, in, in here. You, you should take them in, into account. Namely, let me tell which characters. Uh, assume that chi is a character of representation of, of, your, of, your, of this group, of binary group, just on, uh, on, uh, uh, I, I, I denote this in this way. On forms of degree one, this two-dimensional representation, it, it, it has some character. Let's call this this guy. And then you should consider one-dimensional characters, lambda, one-dimensional, having the property 
that chi times lambda is chi again. These characters are, are important in theory. One of the characters is trivial, but there are non-trivial characters with this property, and they play the role. They, they play the role with respect to finding whether it's the, the, what you obtain is non-trivial or not. This is the point. But I, I, I cannot be more precise because of time reason. So this is, and I don't know the way. In my opinion, to formulate this in the, for, in the form of series is the most condensed way to do this. OK, let me uh, say uh, a couple of words about the marks. Uh, uh, comment about this. Uh, uh, you, you may uh, ask about minimal possible d, which occurs in here. So the minimal possible d's are the following. Uh, in which case uh, there is a non-trivial self-compression. This is 5, 7, 11, 2L minus 1, and 2L minus 1 as well. Uh, respectively for uh, the case of a uh, group of tetrahedron, octahedron and icosahedron. And this is for uh, diadron and, and cyclic. You, you cannot find smaller degree self-compressions. Are, are these degrees the degree of the non-trivial self-compression, the degree of the map some people, some people? Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. uh, no, 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 it's not degree. It's, um, it's, it's, this is D, this D which, uh, which, which is first not equal to zero. And, and the degree of this should be, should be uh, well, I don't remember by heart. It's not the degrees. I see. Uh, maybe uh, let me um, complete this discussion with uh, showing you. I, I reformulated this problem. In the, in the, as you remember, I erased this here just uh, by down to earth terminology. Function f, which is solution of functional equation. So let me show you. Simple. Just, just to show you that this is not, not quite trivial. Uh, so, example. Uh, let uh, me take G to be a diagonal group D4. Uh, and this is, which is isomorphic. Or maybe one should write D, D2. I don't, it depends on notation. This is two types. This is um, a billion group of order four, which is generated by two transformations of projective line. First transformation is the following. This is sigma. And second <coughs> is the following. Call it tau. So it, these two generate group for the four, which is a diagonal group of for the four. And you ask about solution of uh, this functional equation, equation, which was erased here. So the uh, one one of them, uh, maybe the of the smallest degree, uh, is the following. A, B, and C are any elements of, of, of my field such that its product is 1. So if uh, there are examples of such A, B, and C that um, the degree of this F is in the D7. For some special situation, it, it, there may be consolations, but uh, in general case, this is of degree 7. And you can check that if you take this rational function and plug in these two things, then functional equation holds. And uh, this small group, but of a bigger group, uh, this should be more, more tricky. But, but nevertheless, uh, such functions do exist. OK. Uh, so uh, this is uh, what I wanted to say about rank 1. Uh, let me now uh, say something. This will be more fragmentary uh, about uh, general case and case of Cremona group of rank 2. First, 
uh, let me consider linear actions. Uh, so what the setting is the following. Let me just formulate the theorem. So let G be a finite uh, subgroup of G GLN, uh, which is sitting in Cremona N. Uh, N is arbitrary, not necessarily one, just whatever you like. Uh, then uh, you have an action of this G on, uh, on uh, any n-dimensional rational variety on a fine place, and you uh, a fine space, and uh, you may ask about compressibility in this case. So the answer is the following. So consider uh, action of this group on a polynomial ring uh, in n variables, uh, which is uh, a coordinate ring of a fine, um, a fine space. Uh, and consider uh, invariant polynomials. Uh, this is graded action. And, uh, Consider uh, forms of degree d. This is my notation for this. As, uh, assume that this is not zero. And then uh, G admits a polynomial uh, homogeneous self compression. Uh, a fine space to a fine space uh, of degree d plus 1. Uh, so if uh, and if d uh, is not 0, then it is uh, non-trivial, meaning that it's not birational isomorphism. Uh, and the second, uh, one can ask uh, when this holds. In quite a many cases, namely, if uh, the order of G uh, divides D, then uh, this holds. So this shows that it's quite a lot of uh, self non-trivial self-compressions in the linear case. Uh, and the same, therefore, holds for any subgroup in Cremona group of rank n, which is conjugate to this one. All of the, them are non-trivially self-compressible. Uh, using this, one can um, obtain the following. So this is the second general situation, namely actions with fixed points. Let me uh, say something about terminology. So assume that we have a finite group uh, acting by birational transformations of some, on some algebraic variety x. So it's not regular action, just birational action. Um, then uh, it's general result of, uh, of um, Andre Bayer saying that uh, there exists a regularization of this, this section. Namely, there exists um, another variety uh, with uh, a regular action, uh, such that uh, there is a, a G equivariant birational uh, isomorphism in X and, and Y. So there is, exists a model of, of this Y on which the action induced by the action on X becomes regular. Is it uh, finite? So? Is it finite? Well, not necessarily. It's any, uh, in my case, it's finite. I'm considering these cases. But yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's almost obvious. It's indeed uh, right. Uh, uh, but uh, this is true for any algebraic group. But I'm considering finite groups. So let's consider, uh, mm, apply this statement. And we, so we say 
that G action uh, G has a fixed point on X if uh, there exists Y of this type such that a fixed point set is not non-empty. In this case, uh, this has a meaning. Uh, for the action of G on X, it, it, it doesn't have meaning because the action is by regular. But for, for regular actions, it has meaning. And the, the <coughs> terminology is that we, we say that the original action has a fixed point if it, it has a fixed point on some, some by regular model. There exists uh, such a model. And the, I'm trying to understand this. Sorry, I'm a little bit late. So, Take G to be a trivial subgroup. Oh, yeah. Then your, uh, your theorem says that. Just any polynomial uh, mapping it will be, will be the. Ah, some compression with respect to this group. Ah, okay, sorry. sorry. With respect I mean, to this I, group? Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Uh, so uh, let me consider the, uh, the, 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 the actions of this type. And uh, the theorem is the following. Every um, uh, action. Let me again say, action means action by regular transformations and faithful. Action uh, of finite group um, which has on, on any variety has a fixed point in this sense. Uh, is obtained uh, is non-trivially compressible uh, and more uh, uh, more precisely is obtained by a uh, mm, non-trivial a base change uh, from uh, a faithful linear action. So if you have an action with fixed point in this sense, then there exists a linear action, just, just representation, faithful representation of this group, such that uh, your action admits a compression to, to the linear space, which is equivalent. This is the statement. And therefore, if you're trying to solve the problem which I told you about, find incompressible groups, whether they exist or not, say in Cremona of rank 2, uh, then you should know that all of them definitely have no fixed points. Otherwise, they are compressible, not really. And uh, in this uh, direction, there was an activity uh, who apparently didn't know about this. Uh, this, uh, this was not well, I, I'm not sure about the, the origin of this research, but uh, uh, this is a, um, a result uh, obtained by Duncan uh, and Dolgachev, Dolgachev and Duncan, uh, who classified uh, all subgroups in the list of finite subgroups of Cremona groups, which have find fixed points in this sense. It's quite a lot of them, by the way. And uh, all of them are compressible because of this. Uh, if a uh, group uh, which I'm, uh, I'm considering here is abelian, then one can say a little bit more. Uh, let me be more specific about this. Uh, I will erase this. For a billion group, then uh, one can be more specific. Namely, <coughs> uh, to, to be more precise, let me recall that um, uh, if, if, if G is a billion, uh, then uh, it's uh, isomorphic to direct sum of, uh, of, uh, group, of cyclic groups of this type such that M1 divides M2 
etc. divides in R. And these guys are called invariant factors of your abelian groups. And this R is called rank, rank of this, this abelian group. Uh, and um, the theory, uh, um, and um, uh, the theorem which I mean, uh, which is, um, gives more precise information for abelian groups in this situation is the following. <coughs> uh, if in the previous theorem, in that one, uh, G is abelian, and uh, M1, MR are its um, invariant factors. Um, then uh, dimension of your space uh, so my group here act on n-dimensional variety uh, uh, every action of finite group on uh, an n-dimensional variety and then this n is bigger or equal than rank necessarily and uh, let me also introduce this is obtained um, uh, from a linear uh, action of G and let me denote this linear action by lambda this will be a this linear action uh, and image of this group is just uh, let me introduce notation, then I, I will explain you what is this. This is Tn, M1, M2, Mr. This is just a specific group uh, where well, this is the following thing. This is um, uh, what is the notation. This is a group of linear transformations of the following type: phi1, phi n. Uh, and this is um, uh, phi of t1, phi star of tn, t1, tn coordinates, coordinate functions on the fine space. And phi uh, is, well, maybe let me write this lambda. Uh, so this is um, uh, images of coordinate functions in, in polynomial ring. And uh, this T1, Tn are, are the following things. This, this should be T1, uh, uh, T1 times epsilon1, Tn times epsilon n, where epsilon i's are constants and epsilon i Time uh, race is root of units. So, uh, using another another language, one, one can say that in matrix language, this is um, a group uh, which whose matrices in, in the standard basis are the following. Where epsilon are roots of units. So as you see, uh, this means that in this setting, if group is abelian, then it's obtained, um, obtained uh, then any, any action with six point is obtained by non-trivial compressing by, by from, from the very, very standard one. You consider the standard action of this group in the fine space, and all the other things are obtained by, by, by compressions. Uh, and uh, the last thing which uh, apparently I, I, I will be able to say uh, uh, concern the um, cases of, of special groups. Uh, this was about special actions, now, now uh, more special groups. The, the simplest case is cyclic groups. What about compressibility of them? <coughs> cyclic groups in this terminology 
are nothing but groups of rank one. So I, I start with rank one, and uh, in this case, I can, can say, say a word. So simply group. And the theorem is the following. So let n, m, and d be integers uh, positive. Uh, and n big or equal than m. Then every uh, rational action by rational faithful action by by by, by, by rational transformations action of um, a cyclic group G of order of order G on an n-dimensional variety. Um, is obtained by a non-trivial um, base change uh, from a linear action lambda on m, m dimension. So we, we have n, m, and d. d is uh, order of cyclic group. n is variety on which it acts. And now m, uh, m occurs. So this is m uh, on a fine m dimensional space uh, such that its image is just the same standard group. This is t, m, d. So this is in matrix language, this is group of this type. Uh, so uh, <coughs> maybe it's worthwhile to add in this situation that, uh, in contrast to the in case of criminal group of rank one, in criminal group of rank two, Blanc uh, classified all uh, abelian finite subgroups, in particular all cyclic subgroups. And it appears that in this case, uh, there are cyclic subgroups of order two of this type of order, where S is integer, uh, which are not conjugate. There are infinitely many conjugacy classes in, in, in Cremona 2 of cyclic group of, of such order. Uh, and this theorem shows that they are not conjugate. There are infinitely many of them. But nevertheless, all of them are obtained from, from, from one by, by compressions. Uh, and uh, maybe the last five minutes I'll spend for, uh, for the case. I'm not sure that I will have enough time for this. Uh, of, uh, of R equal to 2. So R equal to 1 is just cyclic groups. What about the case of uh, abelian groups of rank 2? And, um, let me formulate. Uh, I can, can, can say more, but just, just for the time reason, let me skip uh, the other details and uh, concentrate on abelian case. What about a case of actions of abelian groups of rank 2? Uh, uh, let me formulate the following theorem. So let G be a um, finite abelian uh, group of rank 2. Um, and M1, M2 be its invariant factors. Uh, and assume that uh, a row is an action on a rational surface, so it's invading in Cremona 2. Uh, then, uh, first statement. Uh, in uh, every of the following cases, and the cases are two cases. First case is order is not 4. And second, uh, order is 4. And four. Four. Thanks. 
and uh, my action uh, has a fixed point. There are two possibilities. Uh, there are two two examples of of uh, actions of of a group of order four, which is not cyclic, on a rational surface. So one type is this fixed point in, in the sense which I explained. Another is, is out, and then consider this the first case. Um, then, so in every of the following cases, these two, uh, my action is obtained by a non-trivial uh, base change. Uh, from <coughs> from a linear action again linear a lambda uh, on a fine plane uh, such that its image is standard is T2 with um, uh, roots of unity on the diagonal, which, which are of order M1 and M2, uh, this one. Uh, in these <coughs> cases, rho is incompressible uh, in uh, into uh, 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 an action of uh, a smaller dimension on a curve. So it's not impossible to a curve. And the second statement, if uh, order is 4 and uh, rho does not uh, have a fixed point. Um, then again, rho is obtained uh, by non-trivial best change. But not from linear action. Uh, from action lambda on a um, uh, projective line. So this is embedding in Cremona 1, uh, for which uh, its image is uh, generated by two elements, sigma and tau, which I already wrote you. Let me reproduce this again, and then I will stop by, by these two elements. <coughs> and tau is this one. So the conclusion is that uh, in, in all cases, uh, the group is non-trivial, com non-trivially compressible. But the, the type of, of, of compression is different depending on, on, on existence of fixed point or not. If they exist, that it's compression from base change from linear action. If it is uh, without fixed points, it is base change but from, from a curve uh, and, and this action. I think it's the right moment to stop. Thank you. In Cremona 2? Yes. About compressibility? Yeah. I'm not daring to, to, to be specific. I, I don't know. It's, uh, but there are some. Uh, I, I, I discussed this. Well, let me uh, ju just formulate the following thing. The incompressible groups do exist. 
namely uh, there are unpublished results of some people from PISA and Tata Institute um, which um, constructed incompressible finding groups of, of, of bilational automorphisms of, of, of uh, surfaces of, of general type. There are, there are such examples. But you ask about Cremona too, then, uh, then uh, I don't know. Uh, moreover, uh, there, are inform there is information about existence of um, finding groups of automorphisms of um, incompressible groups of automorphisms of, of curves. And, uh, and I would say, I can be more, more, more precise, but I would say that in the, in the majority of cases, such curves do have finite groups which are incompressible. But, but, but so, so nothing is known for a rational connected case? Uh, at least I don't. Not, not for me. Not for me. So it it's, uh, would not be true to say that incompressible is just absolutely exotic situation. No. They do exist and uh, they appear quite frequently. But you ask about specific case when, when, when this rationally connected or, or, or rational, then I don't know. It, the, I told you, in my opinion, this is challenging. It, it would be. The point is that even uh, the problem of, of conjugacy in the list of uh, Dolgachev and, and um, uh, Iskovskich is not solved so far up to the very end, right? But this problem, finding incompressibility and just complete list of them, so to speak, is definitely more difficult. It's, it's a difficult thing, but I'm not asking about just complete classification, but just about the existence. It seems to me it's, 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 it's a basic thing. In, in here? Yeah. Uh, this one? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Morelli has equivalent fibrillation, right? We, we, uh, well, once, uh, we, we have such so this compression, this compression will be compression to the P1, therefore you obtain, um, obtain some, some fibrillation, that's right. Over P1. Over P1. Yes, but it's, ah, it's not necessarily fibrillation, right? Uh, something. <laughs> something. But in cyclic case, uh, in, in here, mm, uh, cyclic, cyclic, cyclic group, uh, for cyclic groups, uh, uh, and rationally connected varieties, uh, it's always compressible, right? <coughs> Yeah, uh, in here uh, uh, you, you don't assume rational connectedness. Just any any and yes. rational variety. It's, it's it's always compressible. Any cyclic. Any cyclic. Any cyclic. And moreover, uh, you see this M can be arbit arbitrary. In particular, you can take it in equal to one. Therefore, there's just compression uh, map to 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 P one. Yeah, but well, it's not not surprising. Uh, because they are <coughs> conjugating Cremona. Once you have, you have, you can change. No, the, uh, the, in uh, this case, I can, I, I can vector the uh, No, no. The point, no, the point is, the point is that even in in Cremona of rank two, as I told you, according to Blanc classification, uh, there are cyclic groups which are not conjugate or, uh, of, the, of the same order. But li linear, uh, suppose. Linear. Uh, uh, well, yes, and can you well, conjugate in Cremona. Yes, yes, of course, but uh, I uh, would like to say again, in Cremona of rank 2, there are infinitely many cyclic groups of, of this specific order, uh, which act there and which are not conjugate, but all of them are obtained just from one, from linear one and, and according to... So the, the, this is uh, agrees with, with the philosophy. So you have a variety of uh, complicated, but actually all of them, there is one, one main one, from which others are obtained by, by standard procedure. This is uh, with what I started with. But this particular main one, 
Uh, absolutely, absolutely, yes, yes, that's right. But <laughs> no, 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 no. I didn't dwell on this. But if you start with this philosophy, then you uh, immediately, more or less, soon realize that there are self-compressible groups, and therefore you can can repeat the self-compression. But you can consider the the, the another question. So um, you you. you you may admit non-trivial self-compression, but ask whether such groups which do not admit non-trivial compressions to the non-conjugate subgroups, to, the, to, to those which are not isomorphic to them. This is uh, this is natural viewpoint. And in case of Krimono 1, all of them. It's not the no, no, it's uh, it's more delicate. It 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 may may happen that uh, you you have uh, uh, self compression two actions, self compression of the first one to the second one, and vice versa, but they are not equivalent. It may happen. Thank you.